There's a saying, work to live, don't live to work. But let's be honest, few practice this age-old wisdom. Until now, Roma met someone who's a wonderful example of this very thing. His story, you guys, is so motivating. Roma, you got to tell us about him. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, Christina. His name is Sam Galloway. He works at the AT&T Center. Despite his walking disability, his personality shows us truly that age is no factor, Christina, in living mm -hmm. a happy life. So I am very excited to introduce you all to Sam Galloway. Welcome to the country. Thank you, I can't wait. You got the closest place to the Lord. Far away from the lights and sounds of the big city. This feels good, this is what I enjoy, sitting in this sun. You'll find Sam Galloway. I, I, I didn't want to leave the country, but then I was, I was a kid and when my family I had to go where they went. He was born in 1928. That's the same year the first transatlantic flight was achieved. At age 12, he moved to the Alamo City. When we were moving, you would have thought we were the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> that was in 1940, but Sam knew his heart belonged with the birds and the trees. I get up in the morning and because I have to thank the man for waking me up. His gracious I, personality is certainly contagious. Hello. Oh, how you doing today? And you might have experienced that firsthand. Okay. You write that number there, your name, your telephone number. If you've ever been to a Spurs game, you probably CD. do recognize Sam. Yeah, put what you're leaving there. Damn and I'm going to give you another ticket. He's an usher at the Southeast VIP entrance at the AT&T Center. That was three decades ago. I love the way. It's good for me. But see, when you get this age, if you sit down, you're going to start dying. I met Sam walking through the very same doors many of us do when we head to a concert or Spurs game. But now, these rings, these championship rings, they caught my attention. This one here is 2003, and this one is 2005, this one is 2014. I had 2007 and it slipped off of this finger. I love my spurs, yes ma'am. So I had to know more about this sweet man. Why do you wear your rings every day? Because that's what I got them for. Working at at and I have had, I'm pretty sure I've had close to 100 pitches. Take him these rings. Take, take that elevator right there. Take the elevator. He's take also elevator made right great there. friends. Now he'll tell us that some of the greatest people walk through that door. The best people in the, in the world come through, comes out here. Like Seren Kamat. It's a joy to see him when, when I enter the AT&T Center. Uh, he's got a smiley face and uh, always gives me a... Uh, fist bump. And when Sam is not greeting friends and strangers, whom I'm sure will become a friend, he lives alone in his country home. All right, come on in, y'all. I don't have all that stuff that most people have when you go in the house. I got eight grandchildren, uh, 12 great grandchildren, and I got one great great grandchildren on a child on the way. And cows on his property. Sam Galloway, he's a happy man. You don't like me? Don't hang around me because you're going to like me. If you're wondering how he's kept the job for so long. And I think everybody likes me there. Be on time. And if you with, if you're with a group of people and they're all goofing off, don't you goof off because they're goofing off. You do, you do, you do your, what you're supposed to do, you do what you're supposed to do. Wise words from a humble man. I'm just... I'm just a regular man with regular stuff. But not a regular human being. How could you not fall in love with him? I'm telling you all, when I walked into the AT&T Center, I was like, something about him. And I, I'm always looking yeah, tell for... Tell us how you met him, because that was really yeah. spontaneous. So I went to the Hall & Oates concert, and he, if you have a knife or something accidentally in your yeah. pocket, he checks it in for you, and he keeps it. So I met him, and I saw his hand, and I was like, my goodness, there's something about him. You know, we're all, I'm always looking to, to tell people stories. Mm -hmm. And I just said, I'm going to do a story on you, sir, if, if my boss allows me, and if, you know, we can... So yeah. I knew nothing about him. Just and now, lo and behold... Yes, and, and his, his, his home is a museum. You can tell he's a sight.
Y'all ready for this? 